This is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. And good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Hermela Argawi. Sarah Donchi is off tonight. A swarm of earthquakes today near Salton Sea in Imperial County. Yeah, the largest of magnitude 5.3. It was felt by some even here in LA, but these swarms, they're not unusual for this border region. CBS 2's Rick Monson is live in Hollywood with what experts are saying. Hey, Rick. Hey, Chris and Hermela, you know, the uh, quake swarm today is big enough for certainly seismologists and people around Southern California who felt it to get very excited, but not too huge, according to seismologists we talked to today. Let's show you where it happened. Again, this is in the Imperial Valley. It's uh, south of the Salton Sea. It's a place that Dr. Lucy Jones says is known to have quake swarms about once a year. The largest today was this morning, as we mentioned, a 5.3 magnitude quake. There have been at least 24 other quakes at a magnitude 3 or higher, some of those happening within minutes of each other. But so far, fortunately, no damage has been reported. Dr. Jones says there is no exact prediction for how long the swarms last. They just stop when they stop. Typically, they last about a day or two, she tells me. This happened on a fault known as Westmoreland. It's in a seismic zone that connects to the San Andreas fault line. It's a place that's had lots of earthquakes in the past, so it's not a surprise. One thing a lot of people are asking is it's so close to the San Andreas. What does that mean? And it's not close enough to the San Andreas to mean anything. And for a lot of people, this also begs the question, could a bigger earthquake come out of this quake swarm? And Dr. Lucy Jones says the likelihood of that happening is about a 5% chance, but there is still a chance. This swarm of earthquakes, though, serves more as a reminder today for all of us to be ready in case there is a big earthquake to hit. Live in Hollywood, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.